launched on the 2nd of November 2019, the Mark V Australian Jaeger Straka Eureka represented the pinnacle of Jaeger technology during the Kaiju War. Straka was the first and only Mark V Jaeger developed during the war, and the last Jaeger constructed before the destruction of the breach in 2025. Standing at 250 feet, the Mark V was faster, stronger, and more agile than any Jaeger before it. Striker Eureka had an arsenal of high-tech weaponry capable of dispatching kaiju with ease. Its retractable sting blades contained carbon nanotubes that could channel thermal energy at extremely high temperature. This was particularly useful for cauterizing kaiju upon impalement, reducing the spread of kaiju blood. Housed in the Jaeger's chest, the anti-kaiju missile launcher could fire three salvos of 6K stunner ramjet missiles, storing 18 missiles in total. Based upon research conducted by the Pan Pacific Defence Corps' Kaiju Science Division, the K-Stunner warheads were designed to burrow into the Kaiju and detonate inside them, causing extensive damage. Cast around the joints of each finger extension, Stryker's brass knuckles consisted of a highly temperature-resistant brass and steel compound. These added greatly to the impact potential of each punch increasing the amount of blunt force trauma dealt. This was essential when combating kaiju, as killing them without causing major lacerations could considerably reduce the amount of kaiju blood spread during engagements. The Mark V was designed to keep its balance through hurricanes, tsunamis, earthquakes, and kaiju attacks altogether. Situated on the Jaeger's back, the T-16 Angel wings maintain aerodynamic balance during the turbulence of burst combat, allowing for superior manoeuvrability. Despite being the last Jaeger launched during the Kaiju War, Striker Eureka had seen the most action. Piloted by the legendary father-son duo of Hercules and Charles Hansen for the majority of its service, Stryker had engaged at least 18 different kaiju on 15 deployments, taking credit for a total of 11 kills before its destruction. The Jaeger's first combat mission saw it face a kaiju in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, on the 25th of May 2020. The Mark I Russian Jaeger, Cherno Alpha, and Mark IV Chinese Jaeger, Crimson Typhoon, were also deployed to deal with the threat. On the 9th of October 2021, Stryker was deployed alongside the Mark I Japanese Jaeger, Coyote Tango, and the Mark III Mexican Jaeger, Matador Fury, to combat the Kaiju Seramanda in Hawaii. The three Jaeger's weapons didn't seem to have an effect on Seramanda, and they ultimately killed it by forcing it into a volcano. The Hawaiian volcano's concentration of rare earth elements and the kaiju's blood-to-mass ratio must have been too low for any noticeable atmospheric damage to occur. Assisted by the Mark III fellow Australian Jaeger, Vulcan Spectre, Striker Eureka killed the Category 4 kaiju Spine Jackal in Melbourne, Australia on the 31st of January 2022 after Vulcan had forced Spinejackal back out to sea through a combination of missiles and punches. Stryker launched a wind turbine rotor at the beast, severing the top of its head. Stryker fought the kaiju Torax in Mindanao, Philippines, on the 24th of July, 2022. 2024 was a busy year for Stryker Eureka. Sometime in the year, Stryker assisted Vulcan Spectre in killing the kaiju Vermin in Medellin, Colombia. For hours after Vermin's death, Stryker had to hunt down and kill hundreds of parasites that had slithered out of the kaiju's corpse as they swarmed all over the city, killing and contaminating everything in their path. On the 5th of July, Stryker and the Mark IV American Jaeger Hydra Corinthian took down the Kaiju Insurrector in Los Angeles, California. The two Jaegers grappled and punched Insurrector as it made its way from Santa Monica Beach to the city's built-up areas. 
After a salvo of strikers, cased and missiles, and some more fighting, the beast was finally killed. On the 30th of July, Stryker was deployed against the Kaiju Bone Squid in Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea. The Mark V fought the Kaiju Hound in Auckland, New Zealand, on the 28th of August. On the 25th of September, Stryker engaged the Kaiju Rachnid in Brisbane, Australia. The Rachnid encounter took a heavy toll, causing approximately 4,000 deaths. Assisted by the Mark IV American Jaeger Mammoth Apostle, Striker Eureka killed a kaiju in Kuching, Malaysia, on the 4th of October. This would be Mammoth's final deployment as the Jaeger was destroyed in the fight. Striker engaged the kaiju Fiend on the 31st of October in Acapulco, Mexico. On the 30th of November, Striker Eureka and Crimson Typhoon fought the kaiju Kojiyama in the Bohai Sea. The Sydney Shatterdome was decommissioned at the end of the year. On the 29th of December, Striker Eureka was reassigned to the last active Shatterdome, Hong Kong. The Hansons would find themselves defending their homeland one final time before leaving, as the Category 4 Kaiju Mutavor attacked Sydney on the 1st of January 2025. After destroying two of the last remaining Jaegers, Vulcan Spectre and the Mark IV Japanese Jaeger Echo Sabre. Mutavor broke through the coastal walls surrounding Sydney Harbour and made its way toward the city. Thankfully, Striker Eureka and its pilots were still around to engage the Kaiju. After some wrestling and a series of brutal punches, Striker finished off Mutavor with a salvo of its anti-Kaiju missiles, preventing the beast from terrorising Sydney any further and sending a clear message to the precursors that their wretched creations would not be tolerated on Australian soil. Merely two days later, the double event occurred. Two Category 4 Kaiju, Otachi and Leverback, had emerged from the bridge and were making their way to Hong Kong. Cherno Alpha and Crimson Typhoon fought valiantly in Victoria Harbour, but the two Kaiju proved too much to handle and both Jaegers, along with their heroic pilots, were destroyed. Unable to tolerate the situation any longer, the Hansons disobeyed Marshal Pentecost's order to remain at the coastline, and Striker Eureka began sprinting toward the Miracle Mile as Leatherback finished off Cherno Alpha. The Hansons began pummeling Otachi, making the Category 4 regret the day it was created. Before Stryker could fire a salvo of AKMs at the Kaiju, Leatherback intervened with its powerful EMP, disabling the Aegon. As Otachi made its way to Kowloon, Leatherback circled Stryker and knocked the Jaeger's Conpod, causing a disengaged Herc Hansen to suffer a broken collarbone. After the Mark III American Jaeger, Gypsy Danger eliminated Leatherback and began hunting Otachi, Stryker and its pilots were separately airlifted back to the Hong Kong Shatterdome. Being the most versatile Jaeger in the fleet, Stryker Eureka was designated to carry the nuclear payload on Operation Pitfall. Herc's unanticipated injury meant he was no longer fit for the early morning mission. Stryker was to experience a different pair of pilots on a combat mission for the first time, as one veteran replaced another. The PPDC Marshal, Stacker Pentecost, himself donned a drive suit for the first time in almost nine years, as he prepared to accompany Chuck Hansen in Stryker Eureka's compound. With a devastating thermonuclear warhead attached to its back, Stryker was deployed to the Mariana Trench alongside Gypsy Danger. The two Jaegers submerged and began descending to the abyssal depths of Challenger Deep with the intention of destroying the bridge and ending the Kaiju War. As they neared the bridge, Stryker and Gypsy were confronted by the two Category 4 Kaiju, Scunner and Raiju, along with the first ever Category 5, Slattern. As Gypsy took on Scunner and Raiju, Stryker faced off with Slattern. The gargantuan kaiju delivered a punishing blow to Stryker, compromising the Mark V's hull and damaging the payload's release mechanism. Despite the Jaeger's semi-functional state, Stacker and Chuck used Stryker's sting blades to deadly effect. 
severely wounding Slatten to the point that the Category 5 had to request assistance from the remaining scummer. With the two vicious kaiju rapidly approaching Striker Eureka and half the Jaeger's systems offline, there was only one thing the Mark V's pilots could do. Clear a path. The nuclear payload was detonated, destroying the legendary Jaeger and taking Scanner along with it, whilst gravely damaging Slatter. There's no doubt that humanity wouldn't have fared as well throughout the Kaiju War without Striker Eureka and its pilots. The Australian Jaeger contributed to the elimination of many Kaiju that would have gone on to cause unfathomable death and destruction before being put down if the Mark V was not present. Striker not only prevented the loss of more lives, but also indirectly prolonged the lifespan of other Jaegers that may have otherwise been destroyed much earlier on in the war. Striker Eureka gave humanity the fighting chance it needed to win the Kaiju War by allowing the PPDC enough time to finally discover how to destroy the bridge and by ultimately sacrificing itself for gypsy danger to finish the job. That will be all for this video. Thank you for watching.